Alright guys, what is up? It's Jay from here. It's just can't be ready to do that. Let's get right into Daily Risk is on number 18 or 19 or one of those numbers. And this episode is going to be titled What I Learned because I'm going to be letting you guys know all about the things that I've learned while doing YouTube. Because I've done two separate YouTube accounts actually. And I've learned a couple things from doing both of them. Now, let me tell you something. Ain't nothing going to come easy in your life. But, I didn't realize it was this hard to do stuff now. You see, I created a YouTube account in 2011. You can still search it up. It's still there because 2011 was that long ago. It's called Dragon Breath Storm. You search that up, you will see my old account. And in Dragon Breath Storm, everything came easy to me. I, I joined YouTube at a time when YouTube wasn't terribly popular. I mean, 2011 might seem like it was relatively recent, but that was actually five years ago now. I mean, that's shocking to me that something could have happened five years ago now, and I still remember it so vividly. But I joined YouTube in 2011, being like a little 12-year-old, and I've missed every single boost so far. But I joined... I joined YouTube in 2011 being a little um, 12 year old and I was like hey let me see if I can't do this and so I did it and it turned out just posting any video whatsoever because that's what I used to do on that channel at all we get 300 views because that was the kind of um, community there was it was a bunch of seven year olds and eight year olds who played Beyblades and they didn't want to make their own YouTube channel so they figured hey let me just watch other people's channels so it was super easy back then to reduce content and I was actually if you search up Beyblade stream launcher I'm one of the most viewed I'm like the fifth most viewed video in Beyblade stream launcher back then so that just goes to show you what the uh, the content range was back then and then so now, I go to start a YouTube channel, and falsely, in my mind, I think it's going to be a similar thing. I think if I post any kind of video relating to a popular thing, and this is such as video gaming, it's going to be relatively easy to get known and pretty good again. The only problem is, that wasn't the case at all. The video game market is so oversaturated with a bunch of people that talk like this. And the issue with doing that is you're not going to get noticed like that. You can put out the greatest content you want. I mean, you could put out... Like, you could spam as many people's channels as you want, you will never get noticed because that's not good enough. If you can literally, let me tell you something, you're not going to get noticed unless you make other people known of you. Go on to other people's channels, make friends with them, get, let, let them know you. When they know you, then they're going to want to subscribe to you. You will not get anywhere by posting a bunch of good high quality content if you have zero subs. You can post the greatest content you want. You will see zero sub growth no matter what. You have to make yourself known. The YouTube community is so big now, if you don't make yourself known, you're not going to be known no matter what. So try to make yourself known. And when you're done doing that, you're just going to have to produce the good quality content because nobody at all is going to watch a video that is basically you just screen recording with like a... 240p camera from 1999 you playing um like xbox um the original the original xbox like some obsolete game nobody's gonna watch that it doesn't matter and if you have no good commentary nobody's gonna watch it even more and yeah just keep that in mind i i've learned that like you can do that all you want but if you don't put the good quality content out just chances are life sucks you're just not gonna see the channel growth that you want and i mean I haven't seen that great channel grow so far, but I'm working on it. I am trying to improve it. I'm trying to work on my commentary also. I think my commentary is decent. I don't know what you guys think, but I think my commentary has certainly increased in uh, amount of quality that it has been since the beginning. I mean, I know it's not really great, but I, my commentary has gotten pretty good, and I'm trying to improve on that every day. If you sit in front of your computer and do absolutely nothing and just sit there talking really slowly, nobody's going to give you the time of day because there's so many other youtubers that get paid millions of dollars a year and have millions of subscribers that get paid to talk slowly and be really boring i am markiplier and i will see you guys in that next video just keep these things in mind if you want to grow a youtube channel see you all in that next video bye